Now the devil tries to make us think that he's in hell, but he's never been to hell. The devil is walking about, seeking whom he can devour. There are three temptations, and he always uses the same three. He used them with Jesus, he used them with Eve, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. He used them on you. The same way, he doesn't vary, they're the same things. First is the lust of the flesh, secondly there's the lust of the eye, and third is the pride of life. And man's fall from God began with a deception of the devil. And Satan is deceiving you in this generation. And after a while, you can have success. You might reach the top, but there's a loneliness, there's an emptiness. You find that the power that you wanted, the money you've made, the glamour that you've had, doesn't satisfy totally and completely. Eric Siegel, who wrote Love Story, was quoted in the paper recently as saying, I can't tell you where I'm going, but I imagine wherever it is, I'll be alone. The devil says, all you need is security from the cradle to the grave and you'll be happy. I remember once that the Archbishop of Canterbury said, you know, he said, we in the church worked hard for the welfare state and we've got it, but we found out that that didn't bring happiness and peace to the hearts of our people. We're to know the enemy. He's called the God of this age, the Prince of this world, and the Prince of the air. In 2 Corinthians 2.11, we're told not to be ignorant of the devil, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. There is a devil.
moral power in this stadium tonight that could change the nation and change the world if we began to march for Jesus Christ. Young people all over the world are marching for every cause in the world. And I believe tonight the time has come for us to declare ourselves and start marching in earnest. of time he led a revolt against God in James 4 7 it says submit yourselves therefore to God resist the devil and he will flee from you in a world in which the dominant religion is now secularism and the lifestyle is materialism we need to understand God's word so we know how to quote and apply it properly being deceived you're being brainwashed every day by the devil and he uses every agency in the world sometimes I fear even the church to deceive you and sometimes the church is guilty of keeping you from the real Jesus the real Christ who can forgive and satisfy and change and transform and who comes to love and to hold your hand and to be your friend the devil wants to deceive you he's called in the bible the deceiver you see he deceived eve in the garden of eden he deceived her into believing that if she ate of that fruit that god had forbidden that she would become like god he said, you're really not going to die. There's no judgment. There's no hell. Trying to gain this planet and gain the people that God put here. They feel that somewhere along the line, we and our generation have deceived them. Well, young people have been deceived. But young people tonight, I want to tell you, every generation has been deceived. And especially this one, because the Bible says the devil is the great deceiver. That's his business to deceive you. And he's called in 2 Thessalonians, he's called the lie. Jesus said he's a liar and the father of lies. The devil's business is to deceive you. He tries to deceive you, and he does in every generation by saying that you can give your life to pleasure, you can give your life to the making of money, and you can let these things be your gods and that they will satisfy you and you'll find fulfillment in them. And after a while, the bubble is going to burst. And when you're young, he tells you that you can take the drug route and find mind expansion and peace of mind by taking drugs. And you soon find that you're in bondage. And you soon find that you've been deceived. 